What's going on guys, Paul Lloyd here, welcome to the build video for the pizza oven that I've made. Hopefully you're going to enjoy this, I'm sorry about the shaky footage but I might have burnt the tripod. As you can see there, a great looking pizza, let's dive into it. So the first thing that we've got, we've made a template. Now we've got a square piece of wood, cut a circle out in the middle, now the circle's going to form a, a mould, we're going to use that to make the archway, the tunnel into the pizza so marking up there we're making a disc we're, we're using the technique there of going around with it marking it we're going to cut that out with a jigsaw and then that will be forming our molding our door everything like that there you go so we've got all the pieces cut out cut circle in half as you can see that's the, that's going to be the tunnel got a bigger piece there that's going to be the edge so the concrete can go right up to the edge of the door and now you can see it all in, all built, all in its glory you can see that the gym ball is in the frame so you make the hole a little bit smaller than the gym ball so the gym ball doesn't go all the way through as you can see now we've got the chimney in place that's just held in with a few cable ties we've got a cardboard uh, mould there chimney is just going to be cable tied on and then we cover it all in cling film that just stops the concrete from setting on the gym ball and you can get it out really easy so there we've got the materials we've got a bag of vermiculite got a bag of refractory cement this was all ordered through ebay i'll leave the links down below to any of the uh, products if you want to go ahead and buy them it was really cheap really easy to do really easy to order So I've started making a mix, I've used three parts refractory cement, one part vermiculite, I've put it all in, mixed it with water and then you can see that I'm building it up there in layers. So as it goes around I'm, I'm just basically putting a, a one layer on with my hand and then once I've got all the way around to one side I'll start building the next layer up and I'll just keep repeating the process. There you can see that I've got sort of halfway, uh, stop to take a picture and then you can see that it's sort of, it's drying as I'm putting it on. So I've just got the top little piece to put back on now, there we go. So that's all together, so it's really straightforward, really easy to do. So while all that was starting to cool down you can see that I've got a big pile of wood there, that was all sort of salvaged wood. So I started making a frame, make a stand, make a bit of a bench to put it on. So I've just sort of screwed a couple of pieces of wood together, you can see there. I've not really followed any plans or anything like that. Got the good old trusty saw. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the frame starting to come together nicely now going to start putting the top on the frame got it a bit more secure now got everything screwed down nice solid base for us to work on so when we put the pizza oven on top of the base it won't uh, collapse and it'll take the weight what we're going to do is put a layer of sand on top of the base and then we're going to put a layer of bricks and that'll just retain the heat and stop it from burning through There it is, all drying, all sat there, ready to ready to go, basically. So I had a bit of a problem, we had a bit of a heat wave, and the pizza oven took the full sun. It started to dry out on the outside too soon, and it started to crack, unfortunately. So we basically started the whole thing from scratch. You can see there that the cracks have gone all the way through. It is completely ruined. So you can more or less just pull the whole thing apart it was a bit like a turtle shell unfortunately so we uh, managed to salvage all the materials that we used broke it all down you can see how it's dried there that it's it's really dry on the outside and the inside still wet so I took everything off Put it in a bucket, crushed it all down again, and we're ready to use it again. So we're going to add a bit more um, cement this time, and we're going to aid it in the drying process. 
there you can see it just falls apart. So in the bucket it, it literally is just dry sand and cement now basically, refractory cement so it's meant to take the heat. Now I did use a ready mixed refractory cement so I think that's where I've, I've gone wrong really, I've not added any cement. So I've got my apprentice and <laughs> we used a, a, we only used one of the bags of cement there really but this is the mix that we've used again now. So if we mix this one in a 3 to 1 ratio, mix it with plenty of water, you can see that I've put more cling film on to stop it sticking. So that's the sort of consistency that we want. We want it like a, a clay that you can you can form in your hands. So dab all that onto the base and we just build it all up again. Get the ring going around the bottom and then we just fill it all up. Now that we're getting halfway up, you can see that the pizza oven's starting to take shape. Paddington, the apprentice, he's been helping out. So once we've got it all done, we get a bit of shade on it, we cover it with a, a damp towel, and that just allows it to dry really slowly. So it took about a week now for it to dry. Paddy's coming around to give me a bit more of a help. So it took about a week to dry now, and I didn't quite finish it off. So what we're doing is we're just uh, damping the layer at the top. So we're gonna do that all the way around, and that'll just give it a bit of a key to stick to, so when we put the next layer of uh, cement on the top, it'll stick to it. There you go. So now what we do is we make a sand and cement render. So that again, the 3 to 1 ratios are, are really good here. So we've got 3 parts sand, 1 part cement. Put them on and then just as it's starting to dry, we just um, smooth it all out with a float that you'd use for your tiling. So get it all nice and smooth and then we start working on the pizza base. Pizza stand base, you know what I mean. So layer of sand and then you put the bricks on top and that'll take the heat, that'll just stop the, the wood from melting basically and going on fire. Put the pizza oven on top. And then this is the best bit, you can light it. So give it a coat of paint, smoothed it all down, smoothed the front down, given it a coat of paint, uh, just gone around the sides with a bit of mortar as well just to seal it to the base. Rub some sand in between the bricks as well just to give you a nice smooth finish and we took the sticker off the chimney before we melted all that to the chimney. Really hope that you've enjoyed this video guys, if you have leave a comment down below, if you haven't again leave a comment down below, let me know where I can improve, I've, again I've said I've not got a tripod on this video because I melted it with battery acid unfortunately, lovely looking pizza there, thank you very much to everyone that's watched, subscribed, liked, shared, all that sort of stuff, and as always, take care.